In this video, I'll demonstrate to you guys how does the capital D notation work. And once again, the capital D represents the differential operator. And in this case right here, capital D represents to take the derivative with respect to T, okay? And I'll work out these three examples right here. And the deal is that we'll do this inside out, okay? Let's look at the first one here. Well, with that being said, I will just write down the first d plus 2 on the outside. This is still just chilling on the outside, okay? We'll focus on the inside first. Put on bracket. And now we'll pair things up. You see, d and t to the third power. This means we have to differentiate t to the third power. And the derivative of t to the third power, as we know, of course, is 3t squared, like that, okay? And now we continue. Differentiate negative 8, we get 0, right, because this is just a number, so we have 0 for the derivative, and we continue, negative 1, this is just a regular negative 1, negative 1 times t to the third power, it's just a regular multiplying. So we have negative t to the third power, and then negative 1 times this, of course, is plus 8, like that, okay? And next, we're just, you know, let's see the operator d plus 2, and to do so, we pair things up. We are going to first differentiate 3t squared, and that will give us 6t to the first power. The derivative of 3t squared will give us 6t to the first power. And we continue. We differentiate negative t to the third power, we end up negative 3t squared. And we differentiate positive 8, we get 0, so we don't need to put that down. And then we continue. Now this is just a number 2, so 2 times that, which is plus 6t squared, and then 2 times that, which is negative 2t to the third power, and then 2 times that, which is plus 6t. So that's the result. Of course, we can combine our terms and then uh, put this in the nice order that we want, right? So we do that. Altogether, let me write this down, negative 2t to the third power, and this and that can be combined negative 3 plus 6 is plus 3, and that's a t to the second power term. And we have the positive 6t, so plus 6t, and then plus 16. So this will be the result for number 1. And as you can see for number 2, the deal is that all I did was I switched d minus 1 and d plus 2, right? So this is going to demonstrate if the water matters or not. But based on the setup right here, we still do this inside out. And we'll see if we change the water, if the result is going to change or not, okay? So with that being said, the first part, the d minus 1 stays on outside for now. Let's put on the bracket. And we will first differentiate t to the third power. That will give us 3t squared. Differentiate negative 8 is 0, so don't put it down if you don't want to. And then this is the regular 2. 2 times t to the third power is plus 2t to the third power. And then 2 times negative 8 is negative 16, like that. Okay? And then we continue. Differentiate 3t squared, we get 6t to the first power. We differentiate 2t to the third power, we get plus 6t squared, right? 3 to the front minus 1, so 6t squared. And we differentiate negative 16. It's 0, so don't worry about that. And then we continue. This is just a negative 1. Negative 1 times this is negative 3t squared. And then we have negative 2t to the third power. And then we have negative negative becomes plus, right? So plus 16. At the end, we see that we still have the same thing, right? Negative 2t squared to the third power, and this, and that one is just drawn like this. This is plus 3t squared, and then we have the plus 6t, and then we have the plus 16. This will be the result for number 2. And notice, this and that are the same. So this suggests us that we know the order of the operators doesn't matter, under one condition. The condition is that this right here cannot include any t. They cannot include any variables. If they just have numbers, you can just rearrange them. That's definitely OK. The water doesn't matter. At the end, I'll put on a summary for you guys. Here is the third one. 
perhaps you guys realize this, what this is. d squared plus d minus 2. In fact, this is the product of d minus 1 times d plus 2. But anyways, let's not worry about this yet. Let me just show you guys what this will mean, okay, based on this setup. So let's forget about number 1, number 2 for the moment. Okay, d squared, this is telling us to take the derivative twice. Namely, we have to get the second derivative, okay? So, d2 right here, and we pair up with t to the third power. The first derivative, let me just write it down, the first derivative is 3t squared, right? And then, we have to differentiate this again, so we end up with 6t to the first power. Once again, d squared means we have to take the second derivative of whatever this is. The derivative of t to the third power is 3t squared, and then we do it again, we get 6t to the first power, and that will be the first result right here, okay? So we have 6t to the first power, like that. All right, now, we finish this up. Take the second derivative of 8. Right, negative technically, but either way, it's going to be 0, and it's 0, so it's still 0. We don't have to write that down, right? And now, we are going to just do the regular derivative. This is the positive derivative, right? So plus d and this. So we are going to differentiate t to the third power. We will end up plus 3t squared. And then differentiating negative 8, the first derivative will be 0. So don't worry. And for this one, this is just a regular number negative 2 times that. So we get negative 2t to the third power. And this and that together is plus 6 okay at the end I'm just going to rearrange this I'll put this down first negative 2 t third power and plus 3 t square and then plus 6 t and plus 16 like that this is the result for that one okay so here is the summary that I want to make for you guys so first of all let me just put on note First one and the second one suggests us that d plus 2 and d minus 1, okay? This is from the first one. So if you do this first and do that, it's actually the same as if you have a different order, I will put down d minus 1 first and then d plus 2. The order doesn't matter. Once again, the condition is that this right here cannot contain any t it cannot contain any variable if you just have numbers you can just arrange the parentheses whichever way that you want so this is node number one okay once again it's from number one number two and guess what if you multiply this and that you see d times d is d squared and d times one is negative d negative d plus 2d is d right and then neg uh, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. So check this out. The operator, when you can do things like this, when it doesn't contain any variables, this works just like the regular polynomial. That's the beauty of this. So in another word, right here, when you see d plus 2 times d minus 1, this is in fact the same as, you can just go ahead and multiply. d and d is d squared, and then d and negative 1 is negative d, but when you do this and that, negative d plus 2d is plus d. At the end, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. This right here, you see, this right here is for number 3. And of course, because the water doesn't matter, if you want to look at this and then multiply it out, you will still end up with this anyways, right? So, once again, uh, the water doesn't matter if you don't have any variables, and you can just work this out like a regular polynomial, you can just multiply, but you have to remember the meaning though. When you do d times d, this is d squared, but it means to differentiate whatever we have right here twice, okay? So differentiate t to a third power twice, we get 6t, and things like that. So hopefully you guys find this video helpful, and this is what the capital D notation is all about. That's it. Check out the next video. I will show you guys what if we do continue variable, okay?